Today I want to show you and make a quick unboxing of the Crucial BX200. Um, well, it is a little bit faster than X3 except for the PX100 and it has higher sequential read and write speeds than um, the 100 uh, series. Um, it's one of the cheapest drives out there you can get. It's around for uh, 60 bucks at Amazon um, in a 240 gig configuration. Um, while the life cycle is not as good as in a Samsung uh, 750 series or anything like that, even not as good as 740 series, but um, while well, it will do some years. Uh, for 40 bucks, I think 240 gigs is um, not so bad. Uh, let's look what's in the box. Here we get um, Y count by this. Well, metal, I think. Um, it's the Crucial 240 gigs BX200. And yeah, nothing too fancy here. Let's take it out. Well, it weighs nothing. Literally nothing. Wow, that's amazing. Um, yeah, it's very, very the standard connectors as we know them. Um, and here we have a little adapter for. Um, putting this SST from a 7mm case into a 9mm case. There is a double, double um, uh, AC adhesive on there, so you can just put it on and um, it's uh, stuck on there. Now I will show you um, a comparison between the SSD, the 2.5 and the 3.5 uh, HDD drive, just a size difference. And here we have a normal 3.5 inch drive. Well, it's very, very small compared to the SSD. Um, when you see the height, well, it's, it's a one third of, um, of uh, the HDD. And um, while the weight, this literally, the box, well, it weighs more than the whole fucking SSD. Um, and yeah, and this is a, a metal brick, um, but just to, to see how they stack up against each other, a 3.5 and a 2.5 inch drive. And um, later on guys, I will um, update you on upgrading uh, my HP laptop with uh, the SSD, make some um, comparison tests and um, also a little video about cloning this SSD. Um, onto my HDD or yeah vice versa. Good, thanks for watching and see you later.